bought a lot. I bought a lot. Hello, welcome back to my channel. Brianna is going places. I am Brianna and today I am doing a Ping Dodo haul. There are a lot of packages here, so I'm gonna go ahead and start opening things and we can just get into it. So Ping Dodo is like the Amazon, one of the Amazons of China. The big one that I heard about before I came here was Taobao, but I cannot get into Taobao. I am locked out of my Taobao account. How? I don't know. I've never used it. When I tried to log in, it said there was a fatal error. And so I can't deal with that. Through a lot of Google Translate, um, it seems like I need to get myself authenticated but it's very hard to do that because I don't have a Chinese ID. One of my coworkers told me about Ping Dodo, so I decided to try that instead. Um, a lot of people have like said that the problem with my Taobao is probably that somebody who used to have my phone number, my Chinese phone number, probably had a Taobao account, and so that's kind of what's causing me to be locked out. But there's a lot going on. Um, so I'm probably not gonna ever get into Taobao. However, King Dodo is awesome. Um, it's very similar to Taobao. My coworker also said usually it's a lot cheaper, and this stuff was pretty cheap, so that's I'm not gonna complain. We are coming in first with this butter cutting case. <laughs> I just wanted something to store my butter in, and this has this thing where it cuts the butter into like tablespoon sizes. You know, like the slab of butter <laughs> that you see on the pancakes. It cuts it into that for you, so. Um, so that makes it easier for me when I store it. Let's look at it. Okay, it matches the picture. Here is the, what it looks like. Um, and you can see, is this hard? Oh, no, it's not very hard. I guess, um, for when you want to cut the butter. So, looks like I, looks like it is going to do what I wanted it to do. That's all I need. I'm going to be sharing the prices of these. So let's see, this butter cutting case, <laughs> I don't know why it's called butter cutting case. Um, it's on my other phone. Um, if you saw my Xiaomi unboxing, I've been using this phone for Chinese stuff and my other phone for American stuff. Let's take a look and see how much this was. But yes, I did keep track of all the prices in here. So this butter tray was 24 renminbi. 24 RMB. I will put the conversions at the bottom because I don't know them off the top of my head. Let's keep going. This is a, oh, something weird that about King Dodo is like every, every, um, let me get some scissors. Scissors acquired. As I was saying, something weird about Ping Dodo is that there's not really an add to cart option. Well, there was, but every single one was grayed out for me. So each of these was individual transactions, which is probably part of the reason that it looks like so much is because everything's individually wrapped. And I think that they're coming from specific people like suppliers. So take that, combine everything, and that means you're getting a lot of packages, especially if you're ordering a lot at once. I got this little pump for um, water, my water jugs. Um, I'm going to try to get the big ones, but for now I just have like four liter jugs. And you can't really drink the water here, so this is just so that it's kind of big and clunky and I've spilled a lot. And these pumps, you just, this one's a button that you click, you click it, pumps out. So, very useful, very necessary. I am going to eventually get the, like try to find out how to get the big ones that you get like, that you see in the water coolers. But for now, no. Next up we have, I think I know what this is. I think it's popcorn. Yeah, popcorn kernels. I, oh, the pump. The pump was 10 RMB. The popcorn kernels were, what? It was 16? It was 16 
R&B. So it was more expensive than an electric pump to get popcorn kernels. That's wild. Um, I thought there were six for some reason. Oh, and I got this little thing to rate it. So maybe I'll rate these things. Next up we have, I feel like this is Christmas. I should test it out. I think this is a towel. We can see. I don't want you to see my address. Let me make sure I'm hiding that. But I think this is a towel. I am incorrect. This is part of a sheet set that I got. Very cute orange. It's kind of summery, which I was like, where I was thinking, Rena, do you really want summery type things? It's about to be fall. But I thought, uh, orange is technically orange and orange is a fall color so <laughs> we're just gonna go with that i was just thinking about it and i was like does summer have a color summer i guess oh i just said it was summer yellows bright yellows and stuff um winter is definitely like the blues red orange okay anyway i'm taking this out right now and it is some silverware individually wrapped um, it's very light. It doesn't seem very high quality, unfortunately. I don't like the way it feels. It feels very... It feels like... <laughs> it's gonna sound dumb, but it feels like they just, like, cut some metal. Like, there's no... Ew! There's no, like, finishes. Look at this. It has some black stuff on it. Some sludge or something. I don't know what that is. But, obviously, I'm gonna wash it before I use it, so... I just needed some silverware. I really wanted to get a silverware set. You have no idea how hard it was to try to get a silverware set. No one sells like silverware sets. They only sell like one or two. I had to buy two plus two and also there's this, oh no, there's not anything. Silverware, finally. I had one set, but you know, I'm trying to be a hostess. I need more silverware. Next up we have, this feels like cookie cutter. Oh, chip clips. These are chip clips. This is something that you don't think to buy when you're in the States or when you're in your home place because something like this just exists. Things like chip clips. I bought a bottle opener, which we'll see later. Maybe, hopefully I have it. I don't know if everything was delivered, but like chip clips, I never bought chip clips. I just had some that were just given to me through various me measure, like various giveaways. Um, but I never had to really buy them. But here we have. I bought some, so we have them in pink and gray. I don't think I chose the color because I don't think I would have chosen that color. Those colors. Moving on. There's a lot here, so I'm trying to get through things quickly, not dwell on it for too long. Um, Oh, and a third thing that is like that, where it's, um, where you're thinking, oh, I don't, I, I don't remember ever really having, oh, oh, you can't see that. I don't remember ever really having to buy this, like, it just appeared. It's like a lighter, like, I had to buy a lighter, and then I just bought another one. Ah, I'm so excited about this purchase. Oh, um, <laughs> the prices, the prices, I keep forgetting the prices. It is an ice cube tray, um, and it comes with two trays and a little, was it two or one? Oh, I think it's one. And a little scoop. And a little um, thing to put the ice in when you're done, which is the best part. That's the part I was very like, oh, that's so smart that they would think to have that because if you don't have an ice maker, you don't really have a place to put the ice. I've been wanting to make some cold drinks. Um, so I'm excited to finally have some ice so that my drinks can be cold. Next up, this is a mess. I don't know what this is, this is pretty flat. Hard flat. <laughs> some of my things seem silly, but I need it. It's just things that are useful that I just needed. Um, this is a spoon rest, just like a little thing. Oh, I thought it was gonna be not plastic. It is plastic, but it's a spoon rest. And most of the spoon rests here also had, I'm trying to see how much the spoon rest was. I think it was like three RMB, it was quite cheap. Okay, if I don't remember, then I'll add it later. But this is, um, most of the spoon rests had the, these uh, little things, 
where I'm trying to put it together where it could hold your your lid to a pot so I never really used any needed like anything to hold a lid I never thought that that was something that felt necessary but almost all of them had it built in so I just got one of the cheaper ones um, and was like okay whatever I'll take this so you put the spoon here and then you can put like the little lid pot handle up there all right let's keep going Ooh. oh while i'm doing this haul i wanted to ask you to guess how much do you think i spent on all of this so pause let me know in the comments before i'm done how much do you think all of these boxes cost total and i'll let you know the total at the end you already got a little bit of numbers but if you don't do the conversion then you don't know how much those numbers are but I probably did the conversion and put them in the caption, so. Anyway, now we have some hangers. Oh, this is kind of shady. <laughs> so I bought these hangers and in the picture it was like Ikea hangers. And these do look exactly like the ones I got from Ikea. I thought they were going to have the Ikea thing on there. Part of me feels like Ping Dodo and like a lot of very cheap things in China are like I got 30 um, and a lot of cheap things in China are either factory rejects or someone who's like skimming a little off the top to sell it for themselves and I don't knock the hustle I don't knock the hustle that's all I'll say about that I don't knock the hustle okay as we continue ooh, I think this is another sheet so I have I haven't shown you my apartment, but I needed to have some sheets so that I can alternate between different sheets so that, you know, I don't just have one. Because <laughs> um, right now I just have a sheet and an Ikea blanket and it's not the most, like, comforting. I just want to have, like, a whole sheet set on my bed and just, like, dive into bed. Ooh, okay, so this is the one that I'm planning on putting on my bed now. It's like a nice blue color. I need to wash my sheets first um but let's see yeah it's like a, oh it's nice material nice fabric so it's like this blue and yellow reversible type thing so i'm very excited to actually have some nice sheets on my bed all right and we continue next box this one came with a hole in it so no insects better have snuck in there to come into my home because I'm done with this. I'm done with insects. I'm done with bugs. I'm done with anything that makes me feel creepy crawly. Except, I guess, some Halloween stuff. I can wait for some Halloween stuff and not let me feel creepy crawly since it's not the spooky season, as some call it. Isn't over. Ooh. Oh, yay! Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! <laughs> so, I brought another pot. Um. I don't, I don't actually know if you guys saw this pot before. Oh, <laughs> this bubble wrap is serious. I don't know if you saw my other pot or my other, like, it's kind of more walkish actually. But I needed a small one to just make things for breakfast. Um, like when I want to just like make some quick something for breakfast. The other one I have is huge. <laughs> I came with this little thing <laughs> and it came with a nice little spatula. So that's nice. Um, but yeah, I just wanted a small one. Let me, ooh, the other one has food in it because I haven't washed my dishes yet, but I'll show you for comparison. So this is a small one and I'm going to do this and this is a big one. So sorry that it's a little gross because I haven't washed it yet, like I said, but you see how big this is? It's like quite, ooh, quite large. So now I have like this for when I just want to make some eggs in the morning and get going because I was kind of wanting, you know, a full breakfast with actually some protein, but I didn't feel like getting this huge thing out. So I need a smaller one. Now there's a whole bunch of stuff. Ugh, now I'm getting a little overwhelmed because there's so much stuff I'm going to have to clean up. But onward. I'm excited about these all these boxes. Every time I get a box, I'm, a, I'm super pumped because I... I know what I got, but I don't remember exactly what I got, you know? Like, 
I don't know the order that it came in or... Oh, another great thing about Ping Dojo is I ordered these earlier. I ordered them and then basically got them two days later, two day shipping. Um, for as cheap as some of the things were, like I literally got something that cost less than a dollar, including shipping, less than a dollar. And um, it came two days later. The business models in China, I tell you, I do not know how a lot of things are in business. I'm not going to complain. Ah, oh, I know what this is. So another thing, like I told you, that you don't think or think, yeah, you don't really think about, you probably just have, is like a bottle opener. So I got this bottle opener that is also a corkscrew because I thought I'll probably need a corkscrew at some point. So let me just get them both. I was just going to get a, a bottle opener and it was like one RMB. But then I decided to get this um, nicer nicer one and then it came with also I don't remember oh this wine stopper um I guess this is something to hold the bottle while you open it I've never seen one of these in my life um and then it also came with oh whatever this is I'm sure this is to aerate it as it pours um I'm not really really doing a good job of showing things and something in styrofoam which is Oh, this styrofoam's all sticking out. I don't know if you can see. <laughs> if you can, that's really cool. But, um, it came with these glasses. So, I got this whole set. Um, I believe it was around 24 RMB for the set. Um, I haven't given you a gauge recently. So, 24 RMB is about 350. So... 350 for a corkscrew, some wine glasses, and an aerator. So I'm fancy. I actually, um, I actually swept before I opened this stuff. And I said, Brianna, why are you sweeping now? You know that it's going to make a little bit of a mess when you open everything. And then I said to myself, I'll sweep again. But now I'm really questioning my logic of I'll sweep again when I could have only swept once. Okay, this one is one of the larger boxes. Um, second largest. Should I wait? No, I have some big boxes. But I definitely know what they are. So actually, I'm going to wait. <laughs> I'm going to open this one last. Because this is the one I'm not positive that's in here. Um, oh, I just realized I think I do know what it's in there. But let's do this one first. Oh, I think this is some trash bin. Trash bins. Let's see. Yes, it is. Ooh. Smaller than I expected. Way smaller. Everything's way smaller than I expected when I'm buying stuff like this. Um, but I needed something for my recycle. I needed some bins for my recycle and I needed a bin for my bathroom. So one of these will be my bathroom bin and the other one will be my recycle bin. <laughs> Even though how much is it going to hold at once? Two bottles. I mean, the bathroom one is fine, but here's my head for comparison. Um, the bathroom one's fine, but the recycle one, I, I like to recycle, okay? I got a lot of things that I put in the recycle. I put more, I try to put more things in the recycle than I do in the trash. Ah, I got another set of towels. This looks way smaller than I expected. Um, and the edges, this one I think I was bamboozled. Let's, I want to open this one all the way. The edges don't look like towel edges. It makes it look so nice. The best towel for the best you, it says. Trying to get some thumbnails. Ah, maybe this will be my thumbnail. It doesn't look like it's really that large. And at the same time... I don't like the end. Like, why does it look like that? It looks like, I don't know what it looks like. I just don't like it. It just looks weird. Um, yeah, this does not really feel like a towel. This, this feels like a baby towel, I guess, especially with these ends. But I do think the towels here are not as thick um, because a lot of people have to air dry. So that makes sense that they wouldn't be as thick, but Oh, this one's pretty big. It's like a hand towel, I guess. 
Not even a hand towel. Look how long that is. Oh, maybe it's for hair. Like to wrap your hair. Okay, not super pleased with that, but I'm pretty sure it was like one dollar, so whatever. Okay, one more. Ooh, I think this is. Hee hee hee. Yes. <laughs> I got this lighter. Isn't it so funny and cute? Hmm. Um, let's try it out right now. I needed an, I have actually have a lighter because I've been lighting candles. Um, I'm grabbing the candle. But look, a regular lighter can't go in there. So I needed one that's long. Ooh. Wow, look how easy that is. Candle lit. <laughs> I am obsessed with this. I'm so glad I got this. I'm glad I was going to get like a normal everyday one, a little cheaper. I think this one was maybe 10 RMB, so not that much more expensive than the ones that were cheaper. I also thought about getting a, one of those really cool ones. You might have seen them before where it's like like two prongs and there's like electricity that like zaps and that is what lights things. Um, I almost got one of those for a little bit more, but I thought this one would bring me a little bit more joy and I think I am correct. This is so funny to me and so practical. Okay, let's move on. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and open this. And after I put it down and said I didn't know, I don't think I know what it is, I realized I think I know what it is. And I am correct. Finally, 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 <laughs> finally, <laughs> this girl has got a dish drying rack. So what I've been doing is I had a little towel next to my sink dish. I had a little dish towel next to my sink where I would put my dishes to dry. However, they didn't have a lot of air circulating, so some of them got kind of smelly. You know how, like, if it's on the towel. And I tried not to lay them straight down, obviously, but even with a little bit of airflow, they kind of got it's gross. So I'm excited that I got this. This is going to go over the sink. I don't have a lot of um, counter space, so I needed something to maximize counter space. However, I'm not positive that it's going to be if it's gonna be too tall to go under like my counters. So I'll have to put it together and see, but we got the racks, these are going on top, and then we have some legs, so it goes up around the sink, and then it'll free up a little counter space for me. And this thing to put my sponge in. Oh no, I think this is for silverware and chopsticks. But it does have something so that you can put your sponge in as well. So super excited for that. Not super excited to put it together, but that's life. This one, I don't know what this is. <laughs> this one, I don't know what this is, but it's a bigger one. I don't like how in these white packages you can, it darkens everything. Um, so, sorry about that. I'm gonna try to put it down a little, but it's gonna happen. I think it's sheets. More sheets. No. No, what is this? I'm checking to make sure it's okay. It does have my address on it. What? It's definitely a sheet. Or it's a, a, a duvet. Why? I don't know. Maybe it came with the sheet set. Maybe it came with a duvet and I didn't realize. I thought it was just a duvet cover. No, what is this? Oh, it's a mattress pad. I got a mattress pad. This is my mattress pad. I was gonna get like a thick, thicker one because, you know, just to make my bed softer, but my bed is not too bad. It's like, it's way better than the first bed I had. So I was very happy with this upgrade, but I did wanna get a mattress pad just to cover the mattress um, when I put my stuff, my sheets on top. Even in the US, I like to have a mattress pad, so that's not unusual for me. And I think it just keeps the mattress cleaner. So you can wash that easily, you can't wash a mattress easily. 
Okay, I have one more thing to open. One more thing. Um, I mentioned already that my kitchen is kind of small. So this is going to be to help me extend the kitchen a little bit, if it is what I think it is. And I'm pretty sure it is what I think it is. Um, so, ah! Okay. Okay, so this last thing, it's kind of heavy, so it should be. Um, it should be... I don't know where I left off talking about my kitchen and wanting... My kitchen is kind of small. I want to maximize the space I have. Um, so I got this to kind of extend the kitchen a little bit so I can put stuff on it and like different food and maybe put my kettle on it so that, you know, I have a place. I have more space on my counter for other things. I think I want to put like my air fryer on this and then this is where I can put all my water too. Um, so this is something I'm going to have to put together as well. But that's okay. I can do that. Ah! Ugh, this is so annoying. What's the point of having scissors if the scissors don't cut? Scissors are like, um, can you stay in your lane and let me do my job? Yes, scissors, I can. I'm so sorry for insulting you. Okie doke. I don't know if I want to take all this out, but ugh, this is going to be a nice little table. This color already looks like my desk that I used to have, so that makes me happy. Um, it's like fake marble. It's a look that I like, and my decor is also already very marbly. Um, so this is something I'll put together and then put next to my kitchen so that I can easily put maybe like some nice food some stuff that looks cuter out that i don't have to keep in the pantry my tea my mugs oh yeah my mugs and things of that nature so whew, that was a lot of stuff that was a lot of stuff i'm gonna start bestowing myself with everything um this was my ping dodo haul i needed a lot of things for my home and I got quite a few things for my home. So I'm very happy with that. Um, and I told you that I would give you a grand total. Um, drum roll, please. <laughs> the worst drum roll of all history. This was all of these things that you saw and maybe didn't see was a whopping $75 okay around $75 maybe 80 my budget was to spend less than $100 and I definitely spent less than $100 of course I will give you the exact amount right here and I really appreciate you watching my video I know this was a longer one, but I just kind of wanted to show you everything that I got for my house. And if you like this video, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I am doing Vlogtober for the rest of the month of October. And I'm excited to see what else I come up with to talk about because it's been a little bit hard. I am talking about on my channel the different things that I'm experiencing. I recently moved to China. So I'm talking about China life, I'm talking about books, and I'm just talking about the things that I think about on my journey to becoming the best Brianna I can be. I hope that you'll join me, but if not, then I hope you have a great rest of your day, a great rest of your week, and a great rest of your life if I never see you again. Bye!